Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Hydra Trap Reviewers. Uh, I've gotten numerous questions uh, since I posted my um, new video about um, updates and stuff, which was two hours ago, uh, about uh, green poison and how I jailbroke and stuff like that. So basically, head over to this URL if you want to do this, uh, www.greenpoison, and then the O, the second O in poison is a zero, dot com. All the rest are fake. So make sure you type that in correctly. Uh, and it should look like this. There are a lot of lookalikes and copies, uh, so be careful about that. Um, then you choose your operating system if you're on a Mac, Linux, or Windows. Uh, and it will automatically download a file, and you'll need um, to extract it to your desktop. Um, and then you just open it up, plug in your iPod, and put it in a DFU mode and it gives you all the information you need to do that it only takes about a minute literally one minute to jailbreak once you have it all downloaded uh, it's really simple if you head over to the chronic dev teams blog uh, it says here um, scroll up it uh, green poison initial release this was um, a month and a half ago uh, green poison only works on firmware 4.1 uh, so you need that, and if you're on lower, use tiny umbrella. I don't know what that is. Um, so go to four point get get four point one on your iDevice, um, and download this and use it if you want. Uh, it says it supports iPhone four, iPhone three GS, iPod Touch fourth gen, iPod Touch third gen, and iPad. And then it says if you scroll down a bit. Um, it'll soon support Apple TV and iPod Touch second gen. Uh, both second gen. Um, <clears throat> I have an iPod Touch second gen and it worked. They have not updated their blog to tell you that it does. It does. Um, I heard that it works so I tried it and it worked. So it's all good. Uh, if you have a second gen iPod Touch, mine's an MB model but I heard it works for MC just the same and it's not tethered for MC. That's what I heard. Um, so if you have an iPod Touch second gen MB or MC should work. Mine's an MB second gen iPod Touch and it worked fine. Um, and it's really quick. It does not erase your apps. It does not restore. It doesn't do anything. All it does is adds a little... Mm, it, I don't know where it is, but there's no screenshots of it. But what it does it, is it adds a little icon uh, to your page of apps and um, you can download Cydia from it and then delete that app that got you Cydia so you'll then you'll get Cydia and you'll be uh, be good to go and be jailbroken so it's really simple uh, if you have any questions feel free to private message me or comment below and I'll see what I can do about that so this is kind of a mini green poison tutorial without actually showing you since I'm already jailbroken uh, it works fine worked fine for me so if you want to jailbreak I recommend green poison because it worked well for me um, so if that's what you want to do then you can go ahead and do it so that's about it guys i hope this helped you helped you um you can always feel free to contact me and uh on youtube and i'll help you so if you're looking to jailbreak green poison uh is pretty good i used it and it worked fine so if you want to go check it out all right guys that's about it for now peace oh yeah please subscribe peace